Alright guys, it's 7 o'clock on a Saturday and that means it is Aussie Mail Live time. So um, hopefully we've got some people jumping on very shortly um, and checking us out what's happening. Um, I'm not seeing very much come up on my screen at the moment so hopefully somebody's out there. If you are listening to me, just remember to type in a little hi or a hello so I know that we've got someone out there watching us. Alright, fantastic. All right, well, I'm not seeing anybody just yet, so I guess I sit here and chat by myself. Maybe Chris playing the guitar at the beginning was a good idea, though. Oh, Kim's there. Hey, Kim, how are you, love? Dawn. Oh, I can't help it if you live up in Queensland, Dawn, and we do this stupid, stupid daylight savings thing. Hey, Jenny, how are you? Annette, good to see you all. All right, a bit of a slow start tonight. Maybe the daylight saving thing is, uh, yeah, maybe the daylight saving thing has thrown everybody tonight. All right. Okay, well, we don't have very many people on at the moment. Alright, well I guess we might as well make a start. I don't see any point sitting here uh, chatting to myself, which is all I'm doing right now. Alright, so we're doing shenanigans, shenanigans tonight, which is um, a single row of Dragon Scale. Quite a simple weave. Um, I thought we would do a couple of easy ones. Oh great, we've got a few more people popping on. Hey Julie and Di and Sharon, lovely to see you guys. Alright, so yeah, a very easy weave. Um, I don't suspect that people have uh, much of a problem with this weave at all. So what I'll do is I'll pop us over to the other window and um, we'll, we'll start going. Alright. So as usual, I've made up a few pieces for you to look at. So this is the 14 gauge and uh, 14 gauge 1.6 mils. The BA rings are 9.5 and the AA rings are a quarter inch or 6.35 mils. If you wanted to use color on the outside, in this case, you could use the 3 8 ring and that would, um, that would work for you. So that's the 14 gauge. The 16 gauge, which is what went out in the kits for those that are subscribers, uses 7mm uh, on the outside and 532nds or 3.97mm AA. Again, if you wanted colour rings on the outside instead of the BA rings, you could use the 932nds rings in place of the 7 mils, and that would work for you. All right, fantastic. So 18 gauge now with um, six mil rings on the outside. And inside we've got 964s or 3.57. And lastly, 20 gauge, that's 4.75 on the outside. And 20 gauge one inch, and one eighth, sorry, or 3.18 mils on the inside. So very delicate at the 20 gauge. Personally, I like uh, the 16 gauge version, I think, or the 18 if you want something slightly lighter. All right, fantastic. So we'll be working in 14 gauge tonight as we normally do. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing shenanigans and this one is using uh, closed large rings. There are some different versions. Uh, this is the one I like to do. So our first step is obviously pre-closing all our large rings. And once you've done that, take two of those rings and feed an AA ring. Oops, more thumbs because my camera's in the way. I can't see what I'm doing. Feed your AA ring through the eye. It's there with those two rings that you've just placed on top of each other. Just like that. 
And before you close it up, pop another coastring on top. And just close your AA ring up. Okay. And then we just want to position our rings. You're going to be fiddly on me. There we go. All right. So we just want to position our rings. So we've got one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side, one on the left hand side. And our AA ring that we positioned is pointing towards the right hand side. Our next ring that we're going to place is going to go through the eye here, formed by our top two rings. So we just feed that through that eye. Use my pliers, make it easier. Just through that eye, making sure we keep inside of that top ring. We don't want to go around that top ring. We're just going straight through that eye. And then before we close that ring up, we want to pop one of our open rings on. And then we close that up. And then we want to flip that ring over so that we've got it on the right hand side because we've got one on the left, one on the right, one on the left. And so this one needs to be on the right with the colour ring pointing towards the left that we've just added. And that is pretty much shenanigans. That's it. Because Simple. Done. We can go home now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'll just show you again. We've got these top two uh, BA rings and we want to put our AA ring into the eye that's formed by these two. So just straight through that eye, making sure we don't go around any of the rings. And before we close it up, we pop one of our pre-closed rings on. Okay, close that ring up because our last BA ring was on the right hand side we flip this one over to the left hand side with the AA ring pointing on the right hand side there so is everybody following that okay and uh, any feedback on the camera tonight or anything we played a little we did a little bit of playing around with it before we started Hopefully you guys can um, see that quite well. Chris, you were going to check it on the mobile. How does that look? Looks good. Looks good on the mobile? Hazel's not on, is she? Uh, I guess Hazel yeah, was the one who was having trouble. Okay, no worries. Okay. So as I said, that's simply it. So make yeah. sure you've got alternating sides for your BA rings. And then when your AA ring just goes through that eye that's formed by the top two rings, making sure you don't go around any of those rings, just straight through that eye. Pop one of your closed rings on and close it up. And you just need to position that big ring on whatever the other side is compared to the one that's already in place. So camera's good? Fantastic. Well, at least you've had dinner, Dawn. I haven't even had dinner yet. Now you've made me jealous. What are you eating? What are you shaking your head at me for? <laughs> <laughs> well, we played around with it a little bit, Shirley, with the camera today. Um, last week the camera was was not good at all. Um, so we've had a little bit of a play with it today and, and changed a few settings. So hopefully it looks good. We also had um, an issue with people not being able to see it on mobile phones very clearly when they turned their mobiles into landscape. So hopefully we've fixed that for people as well. Excellent. All right, so what I might do then is um, I'll draw and then we can, I don't know, chat. <laughs> Since this weave is so simple, I'll do a few more so that um, you guys can 
weave along if you still are. All right, so our prize tonight, I've got another one of our um, mouse mats, mouse pads, whatever you want to call them, with the Saturday Nighters logo to give away. He had a cake and a cup for dinner. Beautiful. You're all cooking Red Rooster tonight, Chris. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Alrighty, fantastic. So we've got uh, this to give away tonight. So what I'm actually interested in, this one's sort of a little bit um, to help us um, understand what people are watching on. If in the comments, if you're interested in winning this, pop in the comments what you actually watch us on. So whether it's a computer, whether it's a tablet, whether it's your mobile phone, um, pop that um, into the comments. And we'll put you in a draw to win our fabulous Saturday Nighters um, mouse pad, mouse mat. Don't want to call it the wrong thing. All right, so if you can do that for us, guys, and we'll put you in a draw. We'll, we'll do what we normally do, assign you a random number. And tomorrow morning over coffee, I will um, generate the through random.org the number and we'll um, send a prize out to everybody. Fantastic. All right, so for anybody that's missed it, just what it is that you watch us on. That just helps us as much as anything. Can I also ask if any of you guys have got um, your YouTube name as something that's not obviously you, um, if you don't mind just giving me your name in the comment or something as well, just so I know who to put down. Like if you've got random dog th with three houses down as your... Um, YouTube login, pop your name in or something <laughs> so that I know who I'm, I'm sending prizes to. <laughs> All right, fantastic. So that's the prize. And um, I guess we'll just continue weaving. Yeah, uh, Ray and a few other people turned up a bit late, so I reckon if you did it again, it might be helpful. <laughs> Start from the beginning. Outside. Start from the beginning again. All right, fantastic. <laughs> give me something to do. <laughs> oh no, it's all right, Ray. It'll give me. <laughs> this was a very, very simple one. All right. So to start it, just for those that came in late and didn't see the beginning, take two of your pre-closed rings, your large rings, and feed. <laughs> and feed um, your AA ring through that eye. Just so that, oh, I'm all thumbs. I'm trying to watch over the top of the camera. The camera's in the way. All right, there we go. So basically we want it to look like this, which is the same as feeding it through the eye. And then you grab a uh, close ring, pop it onto your colored AA ring and close it up. Okay, and then we want to position our rings so that the big rings are stacking on top of each other. So we've got one on the left side, one on the right side, one on the left side with our green in this case for our AA ring poking towards the right hand side and we're going to put our next AA ring through the eye there of the top BA rings. Okay, so I'll stop using my fingers and use my so just straight through that eye. You don't go around any of the rings, just straight through that eye, bringing it up on the inside of your top ring. And before you close that one up, pop a closed one on. Close your AA ring. And we want to keep that alternating pattern in. So our last BA ring was on our left side. We flip the new one over to the right hand side with the AA ring staying there on the left. And we just rinse and repeat. Okay, so through the eye, pop the closed ring on, pre-closed ring on, close it up, flip it into position, making sure we're keeping the alternating pattern through the eye, put a ring on, put a ring on it, 
close it up, etc., etc., etc. And then, and that's about it. So you just keep doing that to get to the end. All right, so we're 15 minutes into it and we're done. <laughs> I've used up all my prepared rings. <laughs> all right, fantastic. Um, that's it. What else, Chris? Uh, no, nothing. Time to do a song and dance? Mm. All right, fantastic. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. I think everybody has got that. As I said, it's not um, a difficult weave to do at all. Um, if you want to weave the stretchy version, it's exactly the same. You use the um, EPDM rings instead of the closed BA rings um, and obviously just join it together uh, at the end. So um, that's the weave for tonight. New weave next week, of course, as usual. Uh, a couple of things we've got coming up. Uh, we've got, uh, so we've just finished off the sale. We've got restock orders in, so we're getting a lot of emails at the moment asking when things are going to be back in stock. Hopefully we'll have most of our restock by the end of next week and we'll get those up onto the, the system as fast as we can. Uh, yeah, I'll do that in a minute. So that'll be um, happening sometime next week. We're expecting to see some of those arriving Monday, Tuesday. Give us a couple of days to get them up. Keep an eye on the website and on Facebook and we'll let you guys know. Um, we've got the hyperlinks uh, pre-order coming along. I've been working the last few days uh, getting all those products onto our system. So what will happen there is uh, Monday we'll probably release that. We just need to double check all the stuff that I've entered. You'll have a couple of weeks to pretty much order nearly everything that hyperlinks has in their current catalogue. There are some things we haven't listed and they're usually things that are uh, um, you know, duplicates of what we already do or exceptionally close to what we already do. So there are a few that that aren't listed, but nearly the whole catalogue will be listed there for you along with all their colour options and, and all that sort of jazz. So there's quite a lot of um, ones there to choose. We'll have that uh, pre-order open for a couple of weeks for you guys to put your, your orders in and then we'll uh, close it down, submit the, the order to Michelle and she'll do her magic her end. It will, though, with the two weeks that the pre-order is open, probably be five to six weeks before you guys will see your kits. Turnaround from hyperlinks is usually three weeks. Um, and it could, depending on what you guys order, it could take a little bit longer. Um, but uh, that, that'll be starting on Monday and we'll have some more information out for that. There is, I saw somebody ask about happy hour. There is no happy hour tonight. Um, we're, we're revisiting that concept. Maybe more random. <laughs> Maybe more of a random thing. Um, it wasn't really embraced all that much, so we've, uh, we're just rethinking whether we will run ahead with that or not. Yeah, Chris has got a spanner. Apparently I've got a crown, so I need to type something and I get a crown next to my name. <laughs> um, so what else was there? Anything else? Okay, that's it. No, I think I think you covered that. The um, the mail club. Mail club subscription open until the fifteenth. If anybody is wanting to sign up for that on the fifteenth, it'll close. Um, that's it. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Wow, that's a super short one tonight. Um, so born again, you have to work out a schedule for that. I think we just do a. I think we'll just do it. Sh we'll shoot a pre-recorded video and put it up. Yeah. Or well, Monday will. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> Monday, Ray will have all of the hyperlinks products in a separate pre-order category, uh, with all the images and the color options and everything for you to look at. Then, uh, finishing the weave. In the tutorial, <clears throat> um, I'll have to swap this over. Okay, just to finish it. So this would be the the ring that we started with. 
So just to tidy up that end, just put another colouring and it goes through all three of those first BA rings and that's pretty much it. So this is the end that we had, oh, I've got one here with a clasp on it, here we go. <clears throat> so there's the clasp, you see I've added the extra AA ring in there to hold that in place and then just put a clasp attachment ring on the clasp and on the other end I've done the same and just put a small ring, you can put a chain, whatever it is that you want in there. <clears throat> okay, so is that it? Did I, did I get everybody's questions? I couldn't see everybody's as they were coming up. Oh, just the born again, yeah. So we'll do that as a, as a pre-recorded um, and host it somewhere, whether it'll be here or Facebook, I don't know what we'll do yet. We haven't had the time to actually get around to doing that video. Um, we've been busy all week with the sale and then trying to get all the pre-orders up. Okay. Yes, I am going to enjoy my red rooster. I'm going to have a pineapple fritter. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Love my pineapple fritters. All right, so if nobody's got any more questions, guys, I think we've covered everything. Um, everybody seems to be finding um, YouTube quickly, so that's good. Hopefully we haven't had too many um, issues tonight. And um, we'll, yeah, we'll, keep, we'll keep going forward. All right, guys, thank you so much. And um, we'll catch up with you next week. All right, thanks. Take care. Bye.